Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael and I value true news. We talk about American football and specifically the Georgia Bulldogs team. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Welcome to your weekly update on the Georgia Bulldogs sports teams. In football, the Bulldogs received a surprise commitment from four-star offensive lineman Micah DeBose. The 6 feet 5 inches, 315-pound tackle out of Vigor High School in Mobile, Alabama was highly sought after by many top programs and is the fourth overall commit to Georgia's 2025 recruiting class. However, the team also lost four-star tight end Cam Pringle, who committed to the South Carolina Gamecocks. While Georgia had hoped to add Pringle to their already strong tight end room in the 2024 class, it's not a surprise to see him stay in his home state. On the bright side, five-star T.E. Duce Robinson is set to meet with Kirby Smart and his staff before the February National Signing Day. Robinson, who hopes to excel in both baseball and football, is considering offers from many schools and will also receive a visit from USC head coach Lincoln Riley. In gymnastics, the Georgia Gym Dogs pulled a major upset over No. 9 Kentucky on Friday, showing that the No. 17-ranked Georgia team is a serious national contender. In football, offensive lineman Warren McClendon has accepted an invitation to play in the Senior Bowl, making him the fourth player from the team to do so this year. Unfortunately, the Georgia basketball team was upset by the Vanderbilt Commodores over the weekend. The loss drops the Dogs to 13-6 overall and 3-3 in conference play. The Hoop Dogs will look to bounce back on the road against No. 9 Tennessee on Wednesday. In other college sports news, Athlon Sports has released a list of early Heisman Trophy futures for the 2023 season, which includes Georgia tight end Brock Bowers. Lastly, the NCAA is proposing changes as the organization tries to adapt to the evolving landscape of college sports. Hello and welcome to our Georgia Bulldogs update. The Bulldogs had a busy weekend in multiple sports and we're here to catch you up on all the headlines. Starting with football, the team got a surprise commitment over the weekend from massive four-star offensive lineman Micah DeBose. The 6 feet 5 inches, 315-pound tackle out of Vigor High School in Mobile, Alabama had been coveted by most major programs. DeBose is the fourth overall commit to Georgia's 2025 recruiting class. However, there was also a recruiting announcement in the opposite direction. Four-star tight end Kem Pringle committed to the South Carolina Gamecocks. While Georgia was hoping to add Pringle to their already star-studded tight end room in the 2024 class, it's not a huge surprise to see Pringle opt to stay in his home state. But there's more. Five-star T.E. Duce Robinson is set to meet with Kirby Smart and his staff prior to the February National Signing Day. Robinson, who hopes to be a two-sport star in baseball and football, is entertaining offers from a host of schools and will also get a visit from USC head coach Lincoln Riley soon. Moving on to gymnastics, the Georgia Gym Dogs pulled a terrific upset over No. 9 Kentucky on Friday. The number 17 ranked Georgia team looks to be a serious national contender after snapping a long losing streak against the Wildcats. In other news, Georgia offensive lineman Warren McClendon has accepted an invitation to play in the Senior Bowl, making him the fourth player to accept an invitation to the prestigious game this year. Unfortunately, the Georgia basketball team was upset by the Vanderbilt Commodores over the weekend. The loss drops the Dogs to 13-6 overall and 3-3 in conference play. The Hoop Dogs will hope to get things righted on the road against No. 9 Tennessee on Wednesday. Finally, Athlon Sports has released a list of early Heisman Trophy futures for the 2023 season, and it includes Georgia tight end, Brock Bowers. The NCAA is also proposing a number of changes as the organization tries to regain its footing in the ever-changing landscape of college sports. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates on the Georgia Bulldogs. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you, but don't forget to subscribe, like and ring the bell so you don't miss the next videos.